All right, cool, cool. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to go to <laughs> strategies. And the reason this is so important, because some of you guys have different different um, strategies. Mm -hmm. So whatever strategy you want, you'll click on it. I am going to use levels, click on it. You guys go down to the bottom, hit launch strategy. And you do this with every single one. And then you'll go right here next to that flag. You'll hit that button. That's going to pull up that chart. Guys, to cycle through everything, all you got to do is click on it. And it's going to change the chart. And you'll see it change right up there. Now, I'm not going to explain how to use that. That's not what this is for. But you just click on it. And then you can select your time frames right here. So the reason you want to select your times here, because that's going to help you that's going to uh, populate these different indicators or the different signals that come from this over here based off right here. So if we're on five minute chart, these are all right now, five minute candles. So these signals will come out every five minutes. If I go here and I put it on one minute, now all these candles are one minute, but the signals are still coming out every five minutes because we're on the five minute chart. Now you guys, can use this as well on binary options. So just go to the five minute. You guys can choose your weapon. You know, we do Monday box. And I'm going to show you guys where you can find where, um, there it is right there. There's the Monday box where you can find what this stuff means. Monday box right there. You can do range. You can do continuations, reversals. You can do it all based on what's going on. Man, that thing up there. So this right here is just a breakdown of how to use the starting point and what's going on as well. So I'm going to hit BOS. You guys will learn what BOS is. stands for break of structure, bears, and bulls. All this stuff is utilized to trade this strategy. It has your target points, where the market is going to. Once it hits here, you're looking to sell. Once it hits the blue box, you're looking to buy. And it gives you different zones. So when you guys see me on binary options and I'm drawing my lines on my chart, I'm using levels to draw my stuff up. Now, one of the important things here, when you want to learn how to use this strategy, just go up here to training. You go to training and it has videos right here that you guys can watch that's going to get you directly to the point on how to use the strategy. And this is with every single one. So if I was to go here, let's go. I, I like harmonics. Let's go to harmonics. Scroll down, lunch strategy. It's the same thing across the board. You hit that right there. It's going to pull that up. You can cycle through um, all your different things right here, right here. And then the same thing for the training, go to training. And then you have videos to show you how to use those strategy. It's your job to watch these video, guys. I'm not going to break down the strategy for you and teach you how to do it. That's a lot of time. And the reason is because I might miss something that the educator said, and I actually might trade a little bit different than how the educator teaches the strategy. Everyone trades different. So that's why you go in here and you watch it and you get your understanding from it so you can be successful. Now, we're going to go to the next part. So that right there is the strategies. And what I want to do real quick. So like the go live, right? So we'll go to the go live. So this is where the go live educators. Now, some of you guys have this package. Some of you guys don't. So with the go live, you may have stocks and crypto. You can click stocks and crypto. If you have just foreign exchange, you guys can click the foreign exchange and go through. So right now, these are the live educators. So we like levels. So Orin Wright is on right now. You see it? The button is on. We can go directly to his channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on him. And we're going to go directly to him. I'm going to hit play. And now he's actually a key point that I'm actually teaching take away from this today. This is a live session that he's actually teaching right now. You guys can use this box right here to talk and ask questions about what may be going on. Now, when he's not online, you'll see all of his recorded sessions, right? What I focus on is I tell my people to go to his favorite sessions and watch his favorite session videos. Don't try to watch them all at one time. Take your time. And the reason is because inside of levels, as you guys seen, he has multiple different strategies. He has the Monday box. He has Lifeline. Find what strategy works for you. Smart Money Concept is a good one. So all these videos right here, that are in his favorites, 
there's a reason they're in his favorite videos. Now, dude is quite funny. Um, take your time watching it. Guys, go through it. Go through the videos. Take your time. This is not a race because when you're watching these videos, you want to make sure that you're understanding what he is telling you, what he is teaching you. And then, so let's go. I see that's mine. So let's go over here. Then we're going to go to the center. I'm going to scroll down. And then here are, once you guys become an IBO, this is not for everybody. Once you guys become an IBO, your IBO stuff is done. And it'd be like this in the beginning. And as you complete the course, everything will be completed. There's an additional course for the ones who don't have IBOs right here. This is probably what most of you guys have watched. And you say, hey, I'm done watching the videos. What's next? That's what I just showed you in the beginning. That's the next part. So your beginning part will be to watch these videos right here. And then down here, there's a calendar letting you guys know what's going on for that session for that day. Now, this is everything yeah. for here. This is everything that you guys have here on the tool. One of the tools that you guys already know that I love to use is Wolf Rush. I'm going to go back over here real quick. Launch that strategy. Going to pull that up. And I, I this is the strategy I use. So when I'm trading binary options, when I'm doing my five-second trades, my 10-second um, trades, this is one of the strategies that I'm using. I learned how to use this strategy. Period. What? This strategy and levels. And for my fans out there who love to trade gold, I'm going to tell you this strategy right here, Aurora's, is a beast. For those of you that are trading futures, ding, 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 this is a beast. And we'll go over that as well. So when I'm trading futures, I, do they have training? They got training videos over here as well on how to use Aurora. So whatever you're using, there's videos for it, guys. So I like to go to... I'm sorry, strategies. And I like gold zone. When I'm trading this, I like gold zone because it gives me my zones for gold. Gold likes to travel in increments of 25. So that's where this comes in at. Hit that button. Now you have you have your calendar over here. I'm sorry, you have um your hit list of what's going on. Go to five minutes. And the way this works. Well, I'm not going to explain it. But anyway, when this is an active trade, when this trade is good, you guys will see a check mark and you see the box light up, letting you know that it's a pretty good trade to get in. And then you'll also see your TP1 levels, TP2 levels, three levels, and so forth when using Aurora's. Powerful tool. Now, that's everything within the Academy, guys. And then also, I'll show you guys this right here. So... Your referral link. Oh, I'm already there. Let's go over here. So, oh, wrong one. Uh, I can use this one. That's all good. So, your referral link, guys, you'll go to my websites. You come down here, and then you will click this link right here. This is the link that you will send to anybody who may want to enroll. Click on it, double check. So, right now, guys, they just dropped the, um, the promo package where um this one i believe it's this one this one man there's two of them though so this looks a little different oh no no so this is the same package so the promo right now is that this one is discounted right now so the price for the bundle and that gives you everything in there yeah this right here the promo is the 40 dollars off right now this is going i think to like december 1st so if they pick that, they get the lock in at that price right there. Um, what they're getting is the $40 off of the $274. So they'll pay $234 to start and then the $249. And then most of you guys are here either under that bundle or you guys are in on the Foreign Exchange Plus, which is $249.184. Now, you get to pick your package. This one right here comes with all the tools. That's why we, that's why I like pushing this one because it comes with all the tools. And the reason is because we don't know what type of trader we're going to have. We don't know what type of trader they're going to be. But now that you guys are on this call, I want you to realize that all the other packages, they're not here like they were. They're still mm -hmm. working, still updating, making things better. If you got someone who wants to come in and do stocks and crypto, give them stocks and crypto. It's fine. Let them pick stocks and crypto. Whose mic is that? 
much to risk for one thing. Let them pick stocks and crypto and go from there. Stocks and crypto here, they can come in for the 124. Guys, they can pick all of this. What I say is take advantage of this while it's discounted or right away, just go ahead and get what you want. The foreign exchange, the foreign exchange plus, come in for the 184 or just the regular foreign exchange. Now, that will give you, this package right here will give you the go live session. But when you pick this, you need to add an add-on because with this package, if someone signs up for this package, they do not have one of the tools, guys. They have no tools. Only thing they have with the foreign exchange package is the go live sessions. And that's it. They just have the go live session. So they're just watching what's going on. They can't trade. They can only trade with the educator, but they don't have this. So then you have them add on either Wolf Rush, Aurora's, whatever it may be. Whatever. Let's just add them. Let's add them all. So you guys see whatever it may be. And I want you guys to look at the price right now. So if we added everything is $259. So for $259, you might as well get the discounted pack. Or select your one or two packages and go from there. Now we're going to move over to the future side. So this right here is called Top Step. Now, this is what we're using to, uh, when we trade Mondays and, whoa. You said your, what is this for? She don't blow an account. <clears throat> this, this right here is what we use for the future side. No, it's still good for the future side. Hold on, guys. Let me look at this. 50K, 50K. That was, so this one's gone. Trading, trading. 100K, 100K. 50, 50, 50. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Okay. So these are the accounts we use, guys. If you want to start a trading combine over here, go to start a trading combine right here then you can pick whichever one you want. Who's on a Motorola Edge? Who is that? So then, guys, so like the 50K is 49 bucks, the 100K is 100 bucks, and then 150 is 149. I do not recommend the 50K. And the reason I don't recommend the 50K is because when you're trading, if you do trade the 50K, I recommend you trade at only one contract, guys. When we're doing it with Chef, we trade two and three contracts. If you do that with a 50K and that thing does not go into profit, you will hit your drawdown limit of $1,000 because everyone is cut in half. You will hit $1,000 and you will blow your account. Simple as that. And then you'll have to start over. So I recommend the 100K minimum. And what I do is I trade the 100K like I'm trading the 50K to maintain the drawdown so I don't get close to that $3,000 um, or $1,500. So when you're trading this, they have a protection feature in there. So if you get to half of whatever one you're trading, it will stop you right away. You will not be able to trade and you'll have to come back the next day to trade. Now, the next day to trade, if you're trading, um, say we're trading in the morning, guys, New York session. You won't be able to trade again till six o'clock that night. That will be day two. Then you can continue trading. So, and so let's do this. So I want to show you with this, right? So the one that I like to use, say I'm using this. So there's different brokers that you can pick. The one that Chef likes to use is Top Step X because you can input your stop loss and you can move it into profit and things of that nature. Everyone is different, guys. I have not used Top Step X yet. I have an account, but I haven't even started yet. The one that I use is this one right here, Tradeavate. And the reason I use Tradeavate is because it says Tradeavate, where is it, right? where is it, where is it? It's compatible with the TradingView platform. I like using TradingView, right? So once I go to trading view, I already have an account. If you guys don't have an account, we can create one. Ask me, I'll give you guys a link or whatever so you can get an account. So the reason I like trading view because I do everything on trading view anyway. I mark up my charts, I do whatever I want. See how trade pops up? I'm gonna show you guys how to get there. 
So when you're on this platform, say I have tools that I use on this side. This is why I like using this right here. So you'll scroll down and these are the different brokers. Like say this was gone. I have nothing. You'll click on trading panel at the bottom that pops up and you'll scroll down. If you want it to come over here and practice, if you want to get on on the nightclub and practice futures with chef, click on paper trading, hit connect. And now you can come over here and trade. You'll see your account balance. I think you guys start off with 50,000 and then you'll see your contract sizes right here. So with futures, Let's just say we're doing a 100K account. You can go up to, I believe, was it a five? I think it was five or 10 over there. So what I like to do is put a one in there and see what it's like. So I'm going to just hit sell. Boom. So now I'm in that trade and you guys can see automatically with the one contract, guys, we're down $10, right? So I'm going to close it out and I'm going to just show you the difference. Now let's go to sell. I'm down 40. You guys see that? So every contract is $10. And then you can go max of five. So I'm just going to increase three. I'm going to hit sell again. So now you guys can see with three contracts, I'm starting off negative $120. When the market is moving, you can hit a reverse and it'll go back $1,500 real quick if you're not protecting your account. And that's on the 50K side. That's why I say go with one to really figure out how it's going. And now you can see we're in profit already. So now we're up $230 with a contract of five that quick. You could take your 80 bucks, your 130, we're up 130. I know it's going to hit my line. So I'm waiting. Looking real close. I know it's going to hit this line. Once it hits that line or gets close to that, I'm going to take my money. And the way, the way you close it out, you just hit the X. Hit the X there or you can hit the X here. Little pullback. So I'll just wait and be patient. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come down. What is that purple lightning bolt down at the bottom? What part? What purple lightning bolt? Go to your left. Up, no, right. It's in the chart. It's right below that last wick or last right candle. Here? Yeah, go it's down. News. Oh, right, right here. There. That's news. That's that's letting you know news is happening. So if you okay. click on it, it's going to tell you what's going on. Okay. Ah, oh, man, I just missed it. I was up two eighty. So this is the future side, right? I know Simone said she wanted to do binary options. So I guess we'll go over there to binary options. So hey, now before, we're, you, before you go, I'm out. I'm out. That was $430 that quick, right? So here's the history. Let's go look. So order filled. Um, and she's still dropping. But I took my money because I knew she was going there. It doesn't say the price over there, the commission. I don't see it, but you guys seen it. It was like four clear at 480 bucks over there. That's real quick. And I'm waiting to see if no, I'm not going to trade anymore. Anyway, so that's what you do over there. What was up, Clay? What were you about to say? To, to get to that uh, contract size? Yes. I, I'm over here and it, I can't get it to do it. It says point, oh, point, oh, point one, point two. Deleted and put one. Are you on futures? Are you yeah. on go? You are? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just delete it. Mine set the same thing up there. Just delete it and put one. I can't even, it won't even open anything up. I'm clicking on the point two right now. Are you on your phone or your computer? I'm share on your computer. Okay, share your screen. Oh, I'm on my phone on the Zoom. Oh, sir, I can't help you then, sir. I can't, I can't see it. I just can't get the three to pop up or to be able to change it. I I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you because mine does. I don't know what to tell you. Um, sh Show it to me. Show it to me with your phone. All right, hang on. Go closer. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's me. You don't want to see me. <laughs> Trying to get my trying to get my beer like yours. Oh, uh, oh you're on. Oh, I'm on Comex. You're on Comex. So it might be in your settings. So do me a favor. Okay, I got you. Back out. So let's 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 follow. Can you see my screen? Uh, yeah. So let's go. Right click on your screen. 
Then we're going to go to settings. Yeah, yeah. Right click, go to settings. Right click. And you're right clicking. Um, there we go. Then go to settings. Settings at the bottom. Um, are your first three chat um checked? Uh, candle. Buy, yeah, yeah. Your buy sell button. Wait, 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 wait. Go to trading. Go to trading in that left tab. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, check those. Instant order placement. You could do, yep. And then hit OK. Now try it again. OK, yeah, it's there. You good? Yes, sir. OK, cool, cool, cool. All right, thank you. No problem. And then, Simone, what's your question for, does anybody have any questions on this? I'm glad that wasn't said at like five or something. <laughs> All right, cool. Does anybody have any questions on Trading View? No? No, I'm good. Anybody have any questions on Top Step? No? Anybody have any questions on the back office and the videos on what to watch, what to do, where the strategies are? Phil, what's up, Phil? What's up, Doc? What's yeah, up? Repeat it real quick. I just jumped in. Man, I ain't repeating nothing for you. You good. <laughs> Don't do me like that. <laughs> What's up, Phil? You good? Yeah, I'm trying to get to the live videos. I got the foreign exchanges plus, but it won't let me go into the live videos. It says like my subscription is due. Oh, just log in, bro. Yeah, I did. Uh, let me try. Let me try again. We made quick money on that trade. Boop. I'm still here, third. Dr. Curry. What's up, sir? I'm still here. I'm over here trading, man. Getting bank. <laughs> why, 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 why are you trading when we on the trading call, bro? What are you, what are you doing? All right, don't ask me no questions. I'm talking about you don't know what that is. No, no, no. I got my other screen. No, I got, nah, I got my other screen. Nah, I'm nah. Into, I'm paying attention mm -mm. to everything. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm paying attention to everything. We're good, sir. We, we're good. We're good? Good. Doc, good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Simone, what is your question? I'm gonna call, I'm gonna... I just want to know like what videos I should watch to I guess um get a better understanding. I know about binary, just how to master it, maybe. Because my I get confused on which time I should get in for the candles. Oh, uh, see, that is based on the strategy. I know, I don't so... have one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, you do. Okay. You got Wolf Rush. Okay. So with Wolf Rush, let me go on back over here. Let me show you. Because you're learning, and I I, I want to keep you on the, the straight and narrow for now. When you're okay. not when you're not trading with me or on the nightclub, your yeah, job. Yeah, because in five and ten seconds give me anxiety. Your job right now for Wolf Rush. <sighs> 10 seconds, not so bad. But five seconds, I'd be like, Jesus, be a fence. If you're on the minute, you're going to take a minute trade. Okay. Okay. If you're on the five minute, you're going to take a five minute trade. I say so, three to five minutes. Am I just getting up? So, like last night, I was on the orientation mm -hmm. with the young lady and she broke down the wolf, wolf, wolf rush. Wolf rush, mm -hmm. uh, how everything goes. I've been looking at the slides and I got on with Mr. Muhammad, um, his call. So I understand how it moves. Okay. But I guess my confusion is when do I get in for like a binary trade? Am I getting in on the first flat bottom? Or I, I, I would if you're if you're if you're um buying the flat bottom. Or, but the main, the important thing is when you're looking at Wolf Rush, am I still sharing? Let me go back over here. No. The most, one of the most important things when you're on Wolf Rush is this time. So this is good, right? Okay. We got, we got blue, we got blue, we got blue. Like this quick for a good counter trend. We know it's underneath there, right? 
So yes. let's let's look at EURUSD. Here it is. EURD is 24.8. Now it's not strong, but you may be able to come in on a five minute trade and take that entry for three minutes. And I like to use my old strategy. That's why I tell you guys three minutes because I used to do hourglass. And on my five minute trades, I would take a three minute trade so I can be in and out. Three minutes was like the sweet spot for me to allow it to do its thing before it pulled back. So that's why I do three minutes and five minutes for me was too long. I'm like three minutes, I'm in and I'm out. That's just me. But you can okay. take a five minute trade there. And we do have a triangle. You do have the park bollock star underneath. You do have blue triangle here. You everything is telling you to buy. If we're if we're doing the numbers, they're like 75%. They're only 25% telling you no. And you got the strength there, you know? So okay. if you were to take this trade, you would already been in this trade right now. Going, no, you would have been um, you're about to close in this trade on a three minute trade. There's 43 seconds left. So I like to enter the trades when a new candle populates and I get a good signal here, then I'm entering that trade. I.e., if we were on a minute time frame like this, I have 30 seconds, right? I see we're strong here at 23.6, and you know I like buying over 50. That's mm -hmm. just me, right? But let's just say we wanted to take this trade, and I want to show you why I say three minutes. You okay. see how high this candle went? Mm -hmm. And then it pulled back, right? Mm -hmm. You don't you don't want to deal with that on a five minute candle because they can take you out of profit. That's why I do three minutes. So look, so new candles about to open. Everything is still aligned. Let's see. Let's see. Boom. I'm entering that trade right there. I'm in. I'm in. Right. So let's mark it. We're going to mark it and we're going to watch it. So we're in that trade right there. And actually, we would be out of profit right now because it pulled back. Right. So right there. So we would have been in that trade. Now, this is a 60-second trade here that we would have taken. Massive pullback. Now, we do know this is a counter-trend trade. Look, mm-mm, mm-mm. Now you got a red circle? No, no, no. That's why Claude Curry is not taking a buy when it's underneath that red line. But on the 60-second, we do see it flipping, but that's a caution to not trade, right? Okay. Right? That's letting you know that circle is letting you know that the sellers are coming in to push that down. And the other thing, we wouldn't be trading that because it's way too low. It's a 16 and 9. You're not trading that. Let's see. Let's go here. Let's go look at this. This is this so you is only trade stuff that's above or below 50. 50. And that's me. Yep. Unless I'm unless I, I ain't you ain't there yet. I ain't gonna tell you the other things I'll be looking at. But if I see something else, yeah, like this one right here, 74, 17. Look what's going on. That thing is that thing didn't come back. That's a good trade. That's okay. a good, that's a good trade. A 60 seconds in that trade, you're in profit. Candle opened up, up here, and it dropped. You're in profit. You got red, 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 red triangle, red. Enter that trade. Take that trade. 60 so seconds. it's kind of like um, when Tyrone used to do DeLorean, what was it? I think it's called Hyperdrive. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But similar to that. Yep. yep. Okay. Same thing. And you, you okay. they got, they have hypersonic. Just okay. to let you know, I haven't used hypersonic over here. I haven't even dove into hypersonic yet. Ooh, we okay. don't this look like levels. Ooh. Oh, this is dope. Oh, there's your highlight. Okay. Oh, this is dope. See, that's the chart I understand. <laughs> well, you have it. You can go to it. This is dope. Wait, wait. Oh, this is for US 30? And go. Ooh, we. See, you helped me out and learned a nugget. Go ahead. <laughs> I need to go see what this means. Hold on. Training. Hold on, hold on. See, nah, nah, nah. So, see, uh, uh, I need to know what I think. Uh, this is just me thinking outside the box. I think these at the bottom are his time zones. 
hypersonic. I think they're I think they're time zones. Because it's blue, yellow, red. Nah, it can't be time zones. No, this is buyer's momentum. Buyer's momentum, consolidation, seller's momentum. That's exactly what it is. Oh my gosh. So if you're blue and you get a blue tag, you should only be buying. Simple as that. Yellow, do not trade. Red, you should only be selling from zone to zone, high to low. Oh, and this then you is... got your little uh triangle thingy envelope. No, that's your entry point. That's your entry oh, point. Oh, okay. I think this is more, this is more, this is more like your entry point, or maybe when the banks come in, but this is your go. Yeah, that's what um what's her name? Mar Miranda, Marlinda. Yeah, yeah, I know um, you're talking about. Yeah, last night she said that when you see the triangle or a box, that means the banks just entered the well, market. The triangle in the box is on the other strategy. That's on the wolf rush. So you're these down here. So like right there, right here, that's a square. That's a box right there. There's another box. That's where the uh, banks came in, right there. Okay. And then you can see the black candle. And I'm going to tell you all now, whenever you get a black candle, then it drops the market is going back to cover that candle because there's no such thing as a black candle. So the market will always pull back to that level and cover that as you guys see over here. And there was the entry. So this would have been beautiful. Oh, my gosh. So check this out. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. This is easy money. So you got a black candle, right? There's no such thing as a black candle. We got to sell. It pulled back. It's blue, so it shouldn't even be selling, right? Pull right. back, pull back, turn red, sell a little bit. Okay, cool. You got a triangle. Now you can wait or you can take an early entry. Everybody trades different. But if I get a triangle, Claude Curry, Dr. Curry's like, hey, I'll take a lower risk holding this trade because I know it has to go cover this, even if it pulls back. But I got an arrow and I got a I got a square letting me know the banks came in before it turned blue. That's a beautiful entry for me. I am taking it, I'm holding, and I can literally take my first TP right there and, and use a trailing stop. If I'm doing futures, I can watch it and see what's going on. And then just stay in the trade the whole time. This is okay. fire. This was fire. That's fire. What is this? I haven't even looked at this. I see. I see. And he got. He, there's a bunch of stuff in here, y'all. There's so. I like much. the other one you had. The hyper. Yeah. The hypersonic. But see, I want you to I want you to realize this is for indices. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know this was here. This is fire. US 30 NAS on what? What? Let's put it to the test. Who with it? Who wanna try it? So wait, wait. That's for US 30. Hypersonic. US 30 is respecting that line. So it should be buying off that line. So let's go to US 30. US 30. US 30. It's telling me sell. Price is 43781, right? 43781. Where are we at? Four three, so there's a price difference. Four three eight three three. So what I'm doing is looking at the strike price. So that means I have to pick a different one. Let's go here. Four three eight hundred Dow Jones. Uh, one minute. Try to uh, wait. Four, was that four three four three eight three four four three eight three four four three eight three four four three eight. So there's there's a point difference, right? Okay. There's a slight point difference. So what I would do is literally find the broker over here that's the closest to let's go IC market. 43817. That's a little better. 43. No, where are you at? 438. That's a little better. I'm gonna buy where it is, and I'm buying early, right? So I'm going against what I know, right? And you know what? I should be doing futures, actually. Let's go do futures. So 
So I'm going to buy right there. Let's buy again. I'll do three contracts. So this would be oh, a this this would be a trade that I, that I would hold. Now this did not tell me to get into the trade. It didn't. I'm just looking at this line right here, seeing what's going. So because it's above that blue line, so I should be buying. I shouldn't even be selling. Right? Hopped in early to see if it would respect this line right here. So on something like this, I would let me see. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Create an alert. I want show pop up place down. So what I'm looking for, I can't do. What I was trying to do was create an alert every time this popped up on the chart. Because mm. there's a there's a lot you can do with these things, but this right here, I'm going to mess with this. I'm definitely so I'm losing that trade right now. Thirty dollars, seventy five because sixty because she's pulling back. My indicator is definitely telling me sell, but I wanted to see if it would respect that line right there. <laughs> Oh, and why is the futures price so much different than the regular price? Um, they they operate different. They just I can't even tell you. Because I noticed that for gold too. Yeah, they they just operate different. So like when you guys see Chef trade, so Chef will go. So like for gold, I'll go straight to the gold futures, right? So on gold futures, the price is two six six two four, but on the regular gold. It's two six five five, but the candles are the same. So I can't explain to you the price on why they're different. So when okay. Chef is over here looking at gold, all I'm doing is staying. I want you to remember that pattern real quick. All I'm doing is staying on on the futures, and you see how they're the same. They're the same. Yeah. They're the same mm -hmm. patterns. So when he's trading, I am only thing I'm doing is I'm looking at the pattern, and when he says enter, I'm going in. Now, what I have to figure out, well, what I do figure out is while he's trading, he'll say a price. So for gold, right? Well, let's just do this real quick. So I'm tired of going back and forth. So he'll say a price for gold. I'll come over here to gold. And let's just say I wanted to do this right here was the TP. I'll look at my number, 2635. Then I'll go back to futures. And then I'll mark it up on the futures side. Okay. Right there. Like, okay, that's the same price. That's where he's going to. When price gets there, that's when I'm exiting my trade. Gotcha. So as far as those numbers, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know why it's like that. The only thing I can say that I know for sure is that when you're dealing with different brokers, they all have different strike prices. And I'll show you here. So when you go to sources, you know, Every bank, like you go to bank and exchange money, everybody has different rates. Everyone has different fees. That's the same thing here. They're charging different fees and they're giving prices back out at different prices. So you want to find the one that's the closest. And the one that's normally the closest is Owanda. So let's just go to Owanda real quick. And we go gold. I'm sorry, it's not gold. XAU. Oh, they don't even... What do you mean? Y'all got to have gold over here. Do they not have gold? How dare they? That doesn't make sense. Gold. Wow. So that's very interesting. GBP, JPY. So let's go to GJ, right? Owanda. So it's sitting at 199.298, right? The GBP and JPY. Rwanda. So 199.299, 199.289. So they're, they're, they're fairly close, fairly close. The asking price and the spread price is a little bit different. So that's what you'll be looking at. So you notice like sometimes we'll trade, they'll be like, they're in profit and you'll still be waiting to get into profit. It's because mm -hmm. of the spread of what the broker is charging. So you may have to hold the trade a little bit longer um, to cover that spread to get in that profit. Cool? Gotcha. Anybody got anything else? Y'all good? No questions? Been in the call then. Slink, you good? Everybody good? 
No question. I'm good, bro. I don't want to hear nothing, y'all. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs>